Okay, so I am uh, I'm back from my first ride on my uh, Big Old Master. Um, I done I've done 13 miles. I went to a local fishing port that's down the road from me. Six miles out, six miles back. Well, six and a bit. Um, and it's been the first ride because the weather's been dreadful. Um, but today it's not too bad. Um, so we finally got uh, got on it. So what have we learnt? Um, well, I was a bit nervous, funnily enough. Uh, this is a powerful machine and I'm not the, the most expert um, rider in the world. I thought I may have over, uh, overdone it. But um, anyway, uh, I went about 100 yards and I'm getting speed warnings for me to slow down, which is <laughs> that's 16 mile an hour. So that was because uh, I hadn't set the EUC up. It had a speed alarm for 16 mile an hour. Uh, heaven knows why. Uh, because I haven't got a single machine of mine set for a speed uh, a speed alarm set for 16 mile an hour, but that's what that was. So we got rid of that. I set it to 40, so I won't be going that fast. But so we got that out of the way. So anyway, so what did I notice? Um, the most noticeable thing uh, I think anybody's going to notice when they first get on this wheel is the high pedal height. Um, it's it's a challenge. You've got to you've got to step on it and move off with confidence, and um, I, you know I I I've been I've been setting off on it okay, um, but I I notice it is challenging and it is going to take some practice and I am going to practice that to get better at it because the pedal height is high. Um, the high you you notice it when you ride it as well that you've got a high stance. And I thought that would make me feel um, less stable, but quite the contrary. I'm, I mean, I've got the 16X and the S18. I mean, the 16X is a 16 inch wheel, S18, 18 inch wheel. This is 20 inch wheel. And uh, this feels very stable, um, very stable. I, no hint of wobbles. And, uh, you know, it's got, it's got mass. And, uh, yeah, so I was impressed with that. At the same time, you can turn it. Um, I was a bit, I was a bit nervous about the knobbly tire as well because people say various things, um, but no, presents no problem to me at all. I'm, I'm very comfortable on that tire so far, so so happy about that. Uh, the thing is an accelerating animal. I mean, my God, you can feel that straight away. It, you can brake it hard and you can take off on it. Um, I think uh, to begin with, the, the first few miles I did, I had my foot position was a little bit further back. So the first real incline I went up, I had trouble going up because I did I wasn't further far enough forward on the foot plate. Um, the moment I adjusted that, I mean we're only probably talking half an inch or so, but my God, no problem at all. <laughs> I mean the thing just, oh, I mean, it's an animal, yeah. So uh, that's going to be a thing. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I haven't, uh, I haven't done cross country but we we've we've taken on a few routes we've taken on some speed bumps we've done some cobbles some very bad cobbles at uh, some reasonable speed you know 10 12 miles an hour and uh, yeah it soaks all that up i don't know if they've altered the suspension geometry from the early ones because i expected to have to pump the shock up to something ridiculous but uh, i mean i'm 85 kilos i've only got the shock pumped up to uh, 200 pounds and I'm not bottom, I'm not hitting the bottom stop or the top stop, and I you know I've gone down some big curbs, and I've gone up a couple of curbs. I haven't hit the bottom stop, so you know maybe as I drive ride it a little bit harder, I will. But yeah, so I'm happy with that as well. So anyway, I rode it to Paul Flevin, very very pleasant, very happy with that, um, and rode it home. Um, and of course I you know I'll start to experiment a little bit with different things. Um, on getting home, my foot fell off, um, and the reason I fell off is because I tried uh, some very tight, continuous turns, and it pedal dips like a mother, and I wasn't expecting that, and that had me off. So um, I'm going to have to practice that. I can see. Um, I've never had a machine. The 16X doesn't pedal dip in turns, nor does the S18. 
this does I hadn't really experienced before and uh, it caught me off guard and it had me off so um, yeah we will um, yeah it, it seems I mean not I haven't I mean it, it carves lovely by the way I was carving that was sweet it seems to be a thing if you're turning you know inside a five foot radius and turning really tight and continuous you go right round that seems to trigger the pedal dipping I, I, very unpleasant um, and I'm going to have to um, practice that and get used to that and obviously I know it's coming next time but yeah so very very happy with the machine I've got to get some miles on it now um, but yeah I'm very happy with the buy and uh, yeah and uh, well the other, the other thing is range I used um, I think it was 91% battery when I set off and I think it's 60% now so I've gone through 30% battery in uh, what 13 miles but I mean who knows um, and I, I wasn't driving I wasn't riding very fast um, but you know it's cold um, so who knows who knows but um, that that we'll do some more experiments to find out but uh, yeah so that's it I, I did a little bit of a video which I'll stick in on the end here um, at Paul Flevin but that's it just the very first thoughts on the uh, Big O Master um, from a 64 year old who's you know not the most competent rider in the world I mean I do all right but I'm not not going to keep up with these youngsters and I'm, I'm you know <laughs> I, I, I kind of preserve my neck I, I don't take chances um, I'd experiment with a few things but um, you know I, I'm, uh, I'm not as athletic as, uh, as I was 20 years ago so you've got to take that into consideration but nonetheless I am going to thoroughly enjoy this machine and I would recommend it uh, apart from anything it's a powerful beast I tell you it is a beast anyway that's it for me thank you for watching I'll put the Paul Flevany bit in now, and uh, and that'll be that. Cheers. Cheers. Oh well. Um, first ride out. Oop, down there. I'm trying to trying to record the wheel as well. We've got the uh, Big O Master here. It's my uh, oop, further away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm on the I'm on the Big O Master. It's um, first time out, and uh, I've just ridden it from my home to Port Levin in Cornwall. So, you know, I know six miles, something like that. And um, yeah, I've been uh, I've been really happy with it. For the first ride, the foot plates are higher than I'm used to. But um, I was a bit worried about the knobbly tyre, how that would feel, but now I feel safe enough on it. Um, it feels very stable. I mean, I've just been rolling along. I've got nothing to prove. I just want to get used to the wheel at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been lovely. Um, I'm confident that um, as I get used to it and, and uh, you know, believe in it more and more, I'll get quicker and quicker and be able to do more and more things on it. Uh, but yeah. So very happy with the wheel, very happy that I'm eventually on it and riding it. And uh, yeah, onward and forward. Thank you.